Hello students, how are you? I hope you are just doing fantastic and utilizing your time more effectively and more fruitfully. You all know that on your online classes are going on as face-to-face -face classes are not possible right now. So online classes have to be the ultimate option for you. So I request all of you, all the students, all the freshers to attend the classes regularly, online classes regularly, so that we can communicate to some extent. You all know that like every Wednesday, I have come here with yet another live English class uh, to take. And this live English class topic is, you all know that we are going through the topic. The topic is the historic seventh March speech of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, father of the nation. And Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman actually grounded actually cemented uh, our hope and aspiration, aspiration and also desires uh, through the speech. That is, we want freedom. We want freedom. And all the people, after listening to the speech with uh, great attention, they realized that there are no other options but to be free. We have to fight whatever we have. Uh, they all realized the situation. And this speech is one of the best speeches in Bangla. And many critics say that this is the best speech, not the one of the best. This is the best speech in Bangla delivered by any political leader uh, at that time and even now. And, and the flavor of the speech and the uh, uh, what we should call and the uh, uh, theme of the speech will remain forever who are the suppressed people all over the world not only in Bengal and some critics say that this is one of the this speech is one of the best 10 speeches of the world and this is a great achievement also and world recognition is also there UNESCO uh, recognized it very highly we have talked about it in our uh, previous classes so i welcome all of you to the class those who have uh, not yet joined the class i hope you will join very soon and even if you watch the video later on uh, please give your roll number and name so that i can count uh, your roll number as your attendance. Let's move into the slides. Some slides are there for you and it will be helpful, very helpful for you if you uh, remain active. And at the end of the uh, lecture, you will see that there, there is an assignment for you. I will request all of you to do the assignment so that, so that I can evaluate you and this uh, gradual evaluation will continue in our classes. You all know that I have evaluated you uh, through spot test in the previous class and uh, these type of spot tests in my live English classes will uh, go on. So let's move on. Let's move on to the slides. So dear students, so we are now watching some slides. Uh, the first slide for you, this is our beloved campus. Bangladesh Nobahini College, Chattogram, the front portion, front view, rather you can see, and also the entrance of the campus, you can see the what a beautiful gate it is. Actually, we are missing your dean and bustle here in the, in the campus, and hopefully the campus will come uh, very vibrant very soon with your dean and bustle and we will overcome the uh, situation. Now, you can see this is my slide personal study. You all know that probably. Uh, my name is Muhammad Imdadur Rahman, Assistant Professor and Head of English Department, Bangladesh Navy College, Chittagong. Let's 
move forward to the next slide. This is the topic I have already mentioned it. The unit name is people and institutions making history. You all know that there are very few people and very few institutions uh, in the world who, has, who have the ability to make history. All the people cannot make history and all the institutions also cannot make history. To make history, you have to have something extra, some hypnotizing ability, some humanitarian attitude and uh, so many qualities to impress one and all and impress everybody actually. So we are in lesson one. The first lesson is the unforgettable history. That is we will read, actually we are reading, we are going through the lesson historic 7th March speech of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And this is my lecture number four on this topic. What would be the learning outcome? We will know about the 7th March speech and after reading the passage we will go through uh, actually three paragraphs today. Then we'll try to answer some questions. And then finally, we will also be able to know about how to write a paragraph as a whole. I am actually telling it about writing a paragraph in my every class and also about flowchart in our previous class. If you watch the video, go back to the previous class video and you will see or uh, you will be able to know about flowchart, how to draw a flowchart and how to make the flowchart, how to give information in the flowchart. And there are some wonderful uh, pictures of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Look at his style, how expressive he is and how natural his expression. Uh, look at his eyes and hand rotation, finger rotation. Everything is wonderful. He's so confident, so adamant in his style, very erect in position and looking to the towards the sky sometimes, looking towards the people and he is just drawing the attention of the common people while he is delivering speech. You can see that. And his confidence is everywhere, in his body language, in his expression, everywhere. Some family pictures in the upper side, lifestyle. And in the last picture, you can see that the uh, flamboyant style of Bangabund Sheikh Mujibur Rahman giving his speech in, uh, at Sarwar Diyudda now. And at that time, it was race course more than. And the duration of the speech, you all know, uh, was about 19 minutes. So that 19 minutes speech was actually uh, cemented, actually helped us, guided us to fight for our freedom. And he initiated that feeling. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was actually the founder of our independence, founder, father of Bangladesh, and there is no doubt about it. Here is a quotation from former British Foreign Minister Edward Heed. At that time, British Foreign Minister was Edward Heed. He said that all the confined and suppressed people of the world will listen to the speech of Bangabandhu for attaining freedom. That is, the people who are confined, who are suppressed of the world, they will listen to their speech for a long time because they want freedom. If I translate it into Bangla, we can tell that Prithibir Joto Prithibir Joto Manushatse, Jara Bundi Doshayatse, Jadir Bak Shadi Notanai, Jara Jara Nijatito. তারা সব সময় বঙ্গবন্ধুর এই ভাষণটি শুনতে থাকবে বঙ্গবন্ধুর এই ভাষণ থেকে বঙ্গবন্ধুর এই ভাষণ থেকে তারা তাদের অধিকার আদায়ের জন্য যে কথাগুলো বলা আছে সেই কথাগুলো থেকে অনুপ্রাণিত হবে এটা একটা বিরাট একটা কমেন্ট আমি বলবো 
বিরাট একটা স্বীকৃতি যে বঙ্গবন্ধুর ভাষণ থেকে পৃথিবীর মানুষ স্বাধীনতার জন্য উদ্বুদ্ধ হবে আই হোপ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ইউ হ্যাভ আন্ডারস্টুড নাও দিস অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য কোটেশন অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য স্পিচ অফ বঙ্গমাতা ফজিলাতুন্নেসা মুজিব অ্যান্ড ইট ওয়াজ ইন বাংলা আই হ্যাভ মেড ইট ইন ইংলিশ বঙ্গবন্ধু যখন সাতই মার্চের ভাষণ দেওয়ার জন্য বের হচ্ছিলেন ঘর থেকে উনিশশো সালে বঙ্গমাতা ফজিলাতুন্নেসা মুজিবকে তিনি জিজ্ঞেস করেছিলেন যে আমার কি বলা উচিত আজকের এই ভাষণে শি সেইড থিঙ্ক দ্যাট বিহাইন্ড ইউ দ্য পাকিস্তানি সোলজার্স ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ ইউ দ্য অপ্রেসড পিপল ইন দ্য মিডল ইউ আর স্ট্যান্ডিং নাও ইউ টেল দ্যাম হোয়াট শুড বি টোল্ড বাই ইউ ওয়ান্ডারফুল ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইন্সপিরেশন বঙ্গমাতা ফজিলাতুন্নেসা মুজিব বলেছিলেন যে তুমি চিন্তা করো যে তোমার সামনে পাকিস্তানি সেনারা দাঁড়িয়ে আছে পেছনে তার সামনে তোমার পেছনে পাকিস্তানি সৈন্যরা দাঁড়িয়ে আছে সামনে হচ্ছে নির্যাতিত মানুষ যারা স্বাধীনতার কথা শুনতে চাচ্ছে তোমার কাছ থেকে আর মাঝখানে তুমি দাঁড়িয়ে আছো আমরা সিচুয়েশানটা যদি একটু ভিজুয়ালাইজ করে চোখের সামনে নিয়ে আসি পেছনে পাকিস্তানি সেনারা বন্ধু খাতে দাঁড়িয়ে আছে সামনে নির্যাতিত মানুষ স্বাধীনতার কথা হয়তো শুনতে চায় তারা বঙ্গবন্ধুর কাছ থেকে আসার বাণী শুনতে চায় আর মাঝখানে বঙ্গবন্ধু দাঁড়িয়ে আছে এখন এই অবস্থায় বঙ্গবন্ধুকে তিনি বলছেন তোমার যা বলা উচিত তুমি তাই বলো তোমার মনে যা আছে তুমি তাই বলো হোয়াট এ ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইন্সপিরেশন অ্যান্ড বঙ্গবন্ধু ওয়াজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি মোটিভেটেড বাই দিস থিংস ক্রিটিক্স এ দ্যাট সমালোচকরা বলে থাকেন যারা এই ভাষণ নিয়ে গবেষণা করছেন রিসার্চার্স যারা তারা বলছেন যে বেগম বঙ্গমাতা বেগম ফজিলাতুন্নেসা মুজিবেরও অনেক অবদান আছে বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমানের এই সাতই মার্চে ভাষণে উদ্বুদ্ধ করার জন্য তিনি বলে দেননি যে এই ভাষণটা এইভাবে দেওয়া উচিত বা তিনি যে কথাটা বলেছেন সেটা কিন্তু বঙ্গবন্ধুর ভেতরকে আন্দোলিত করেছে মনের ভেতরে আন্দোলন সৃষ্টি করেছে কি বলা উচিত মন থেকে সেই কথাগুলো তিনি বলেছেন এমনকি তিনি যখন গাড়িতে উঠছিলেন তার গাড়ির যিনি চালক গাড়ির ড্রাইভার হাজি মোর্শেদ ছিল তার নাম তিনি বলছেন বঙ্গবন্ধুকে যে আপনি তো কোনো কাগজই নেননি কাগজে কোনো কিছু লিখেন নি আজকের এত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ভাষণে আপনি কি বলবেন কিছুই তো লেখেন নাই কি বলবেন আপনি হোয়াট উইল ইউ টেল দেয়ার ইজ নাথিং রিটেন অন পেপার দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি এ পয়েন্ট অলসো বঙ্গবন্ধু ডিডেন্ট রাইট এ সিঙ্গেল ওয়ার্ড অন পেপার দ্যাট ইজ হি হ্যাড নো স্ক্রিপ্ট অ্যাট দ্যাট টাইম অন সেভেন্থ মার্চ স্পিচ সাতই মার্চের ভাষণে তার কোনো স্ক্রিপ্ট ছিল না স্ক্রিপ্ট ছিল না তিনি স্পন্টেনিয়াসলি বলেছেন এটা স্বতঃস্ফূর্ত উচ্চারণ ছিল এই ভাষণটি এবং এত প্রাণবন্তভাবে কোনো রকমের জড়তা ছাড়া হেজিটেশন ছাড়া তিনি এই ভাষণটি দিয়েছিলেন এই জন্যই তো এই ভাষণটি পৃথিবীর সেরা দশটি ভাষণের মধ্যে একটি ভাষণে পরিণত হয়েছে স্বীকৃতি পেয়েছে না সাম ওয়ার্স টু বি নোটেড আমরা আজকে যেই প্যাসেজ টি পড়ব দুটো বা তিনটা প্যারা আমরা আজকে পড়ব সেই প্যারার মধ্যে যে আননোন ওয়ার্ডসগুলো আমাদের হেল্পফুল হবে সেই ওয়ার্ডসগুলো একটু দেখি আমরা র্যাচেট মিজারেবল অথবা গ্রিম ডাউন ট্রোড অ্যান্ড অপ্রেসড সাবজেকেটেড ডাউন ট্রোড অ্যান্ড নিপীড়িত বলতে পারি আমরা র্যাচেড দুর্বিসহ বলতে পারি ডাউন ট্রোডেনকে নির্যাতিত বলতে পারি প্রোগ পোস্টফন ডেফার স্থগিত করা ম্যাসাকার খুবই কমন শব্দ ম্যাসাকার হয়ে গেল আমরা এরকম বলি অনেক সময় বুচার ডেসিমেট স্লটার জবাই করা অ্যাজিউম অ্যাকসেপ্ট করা শোল্ডার শোল্ডার এখানে ঘার বোঝাচ্ছে না ঠিক দায়িত্ব নেওয়া বোঝাচ্ছে অ্যাজিউম সেই অর্থে অ্যান্ড দিস উইল বি ইউর অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট থ্রি কোয়েশ্চেন্স আর দেয়ার Uh, before looking at the questions, I like to read the uh, passage that is uh, three paragraphs in our today's classes. I hope all of you have the book, EFT book, English for Today book in front of you. I am going to read the EFT book in front of you. Please collect it quickly because I hope you are in your reading table or wherever you are, try to collect the EFT book in your reading table or wherever you are, try to collect the book. In our last class, 
where we have left আমরা যেখানে ছেড়ে ছি আমাদের গত ক্লাসে সেই তার পর থেকে আমি পড়তে চাই I declared that assembly would continue to meet বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান was very much confident that the assembly would meet why he was telling that he was telling that because Mr. Bhuttu and also President Yahya Khan they were not actually interested to start the assembly they were telling that Mr. Bhuttu in fact told that if the West Pakistani leaders come here in the assembly house that will be a slaughter house it a koshai khana huye jabe irokom bhai biti dhaka chilen she shumay member of parliament sterke but suddenly on the first of march the assembly was shut down assembly abar bond huye galo ehi bhabhe pae tara chol chilo ek bar asha daya hoche habhe abar dhaka jatche na habhe na ehi je asha nirasha ar akta dola chal sometimes Bangabandhu was very hopeful that the assembly will be there but sometimes he became hopeless as there was no sign of the assembly. So the Pakistani leaders were actually uh, playing with the situation. They are actually playing with the people of the East Pakistan at that time with the Bangalis. Bangali there ke niya tara akhel chilo jhe tu ta der assembly te neta der ke assembly te boste dea hot chilo na. Why is there? why there is the need of the assembly because in the assembly Bangabandhu said that in his speech he said that uh, we need a constitution constitution is very important there and we will also discuss about the welfare of the countrymen and we will also form some laws rules and regulations to run the country this poor channel jano kichu niyom niti yegulo lag beshe jo nama dek into assembly te basa dar kar chilo into pakistani ra পাকিস্তানের নেতারা মিস্টার ভুট্টু এবং ইহাইয়া খান তারা কিন্তু চাচ্ছিলেন এটাকে আস্তে আস্তে পিছিয়ে দেওয়ার জন্য দে আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি গোয়িং স্লো পলিসি গোয়িং স্লো পলিসি মিস্টার ইয়াহিয়া খান কল দ্য সেশন অফ দ্য অ্যাসেম্বলি অন ইন হিজ ক্যাপাসিটি অ্যাজ দ্য প্রেসিডেন্ট মিস্টার ইয়াহিয়া খান কল দ্য সেশন লুক হাউ দে ওয়ার প্লেইং উইথ দ্য হোপ হোপফুলনেস and hopelessness sak bar asha dicchen ar ek bar asha bhangchen yaya khan president hisebe president er khomota bole assembly daklen and i declared i would be attending it bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman was always ready whatever day they had given the pakistani leaders had given president yaya khan had given bangabandhu accepted okay i agree i will i will go there i i would sit it sit there our uh, parliament members will also come there Mr. Bhuttu said that he would not be part of it. So another ploy they are playing. Yahya Khan called the session. Mr. Bhuttu said, I will not go there. 35 members of the assembly came from West Pakistan to take part in the proceedings, the ongoing, ongoing, uh, uh, ongoing thinkings, ongoing segments we can call rather. যে চলমানতা সেই চলমত চলমানতায় মাত্র পঁয়ত্রিশ জন মেম্বার তারা এসেছিল বাট ইট ওয়াজ ডিজলভ ডিজলভ মিনস ডিসমিসড ডিজলভ মিনস ডিসমিসড আবার এটা স্থগিত করে দেওয়া হলো বন্ধ করে দেওয়া হলো অল অফ এ সার্টেন হোয়াট আই ওয়াজ টেলিং অ্যাকচুয়ালি দে আর কলিং দ্য অ্যাসেম্বলি দে আর গিভিং ডেটস বঙ্গবন্ধু এক গ্রেট ভুট টু সেড আই উইল নট কাম দিস কাইন্ড অফ পলিটিক্যাল ড্রামা was staged at that time and Bangabandhu in his speech mentioning all the background stages. Ije pechoner kotha gulo itihas gulo tini man janagon ke janiye dit chen kano amra judhye jhapiye parar motto acta kothin shiddhanto nite jatshi. Kano amadher kache judhye chara ar kono bikolpo hate nai. Sita gintu tini manuske bujhye dit chen ee karan gulo. He is telling the background history time and again. This was the situation and he was actually presenting the uh, situation in such a way, such a solid way, such a fluent way and such a confident way. The people were convinced, the people who were listening at that time live or who were listening through the radio, they are on the radio, they were also convinced that yes, our, our 
leader Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is telling us the is giving us the right instructions that we have no other option open but to fight for freedom. But it was dissolved all of a sudden. The blame was put on the people of Bengal and the finger was pointed at me. The blame was put on the people of Bengal who dissolved the, uh, dissolved the assembly. Yahya Khan dissolved the assembly. Bhutto didn't came, but they said that assembly could not be held because of the people of Bengal. Absurd blame. Oshavabhik akta dosharop chapiyadayavala. Not only that, they pointed their fingers, the only person could be blamed, that is Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Atatara bolta chatse, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman er, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman er karone ei assembly te amra boshte parchi na. After the assembly session was prorogued, the people of the country protested. They said, Janagan Pratibad Janalo. Because the people, common people of East Pakistan, the Bengalis actually, the Bengalis wanted to see that assembly is functioning. But time and again, they saw that it was prorogued, it was dissolved, it was not held. I told them, Bangabandhu told them at that time, observe general strike, we have called peacefully. Then, no other option. But, to call general strike, Bangabandhu general strike darkened, but it was a peaceful general strike, Shantipunna strike. I told them, shut down all the mills and factories. Shab kalkar khana bandhu kore dao. Our people responded to my call. Responded to my call. People responded. People listened to Bangabandhu's call. Bangabandhu Ravane Tara Saradilo. They came to the streets spontaneously. This is very significant. Bangabandhu called them, observe strike and observe it with peace. Just shut down all the mills and factories. People without uttering a single word. They listened to Bangabandhu, responded to Bangabandhu, and it was very spontaneous. Free-flowing free response was there. Kubi pranavantu bhabe tara kintu Bangabandhu re yaovane shara diye chilo. They expressed their firm determination to carry out the struggle peacefully. And they were very much confident the people common people were confident that they will continue the struggle they will fight for their freedom they will fight for their rights now in next stage of the speech bangabandhu all on a sudden uttered a question what we have got in return this is the interesting twist of the speech, I think personally, because Bangabandhu was giving all the uh, statements, all the statements in assertive sentences, affirmative sentences. There are some dialogues also, actually. But in between, he asked some questions. Bangabandhu, kichu bakko statement akare bolachen. Yehiya Shaya Bolen, Bhutto Shaya Bolen, Uni Aslena, Ami Bolla, Mami Korboeta, in this way. But all of a sudden, he asked question. What we have done, what we have got in return. Bini Moya Amra Ki Pechi. So this is the twist. Why twist? Twist of attention. Switching over the attention. People were listening all the background history. And they were thinking and thinking all on a sudden in their brain cell Bangabandhu just injected a question. Bangabandhu kotha gulo tara shun chilo. Ja amra ee bhaave bonchi to hoye chhe, amra ee korte chhe chhe, assembly te jete chhe chhe, boshte pari nai. Yahi achaya beta kora chen, bhutto chaya beta kora chen, aami chhe chhe assembly chalana jonno constitution chai, amra manushir kotha bolte chai. Kintu, ki amon bhul kore chhe amra? Now people will start definitely start to think what were the wrong actually most of the people will think 
they are thinking in a flat way now they will ask themselves in their brain there will be some question marks so their brain is working this is called actually in a term i can call it this is brainstorming bangabandhu in his speech storming is storming the brain of the common people also so think here ask yourself and give the answer yourself and go for the fight go for the fight of freedom what have we got in return those who brought up uh, bought brought arms with our money to defend us from external enemies are now using those arms on the poor very interesting one why interesting because the pakistani leaders pakistani president pakistani prime minister bought arms with our money we gave the money this is the money of the people janaganer takay kena arms ostro shastro tara ki koreche keno kinche what did they say to say to us they bought to save us from the external enemies bajjik shotrur hat theke bachanor jonno desh ke bachanor jonno amader ke bachanor jonno tara ostro kineche fine then what did they do they actually use these arms on the poor people gorib manusher upore ei ostro gulo byabohar koreche amader takay kena ostro আমাদের উপরেই ব্যবহার করা হচ্ছে বঙ্গবন্ধু কিন্তু এই ভাষণে মনে করিয়ে দিচ্ছে হি রিমাইন্ডস দ্য পিপল দ্যাট দ্য আর্মস দে আর ইউজিং এগেনস্ট আস অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই হ্যাভ পেইড ফর দোজ আর্মস টু বাই বাট হোয়াট এ হোয়াট আর দে ডুইং দে আর ইউজিং দোজ আর্মস অন আওয়ার চেস্ট দে আর কিলিং আস উইথ দ্য আর্মস অ্যান্ড ফর দোজ আর্মস উই হ্যাভ গিভেন মানি people will think that what wrong we have done amader ki bhul chilo the ratchet the downtrodden people i have shown you these words meaning of the words the ratchet nishyo the, the nipirito manusha of the land gorib manusher upor ostro chalano hocche nipirito nirjatito manusher upor ostro chalano hocche obosho ei taka gulo tarai diyechilo tader takay kena ostro tader upor i byabohar kora hocche er theke mormantik it take a tragic car kichu hote pare na this is the tragedy so you people think you people tell us you people decide what should we do we must go for fight for freedom bullets are being aimed at their hearts bullet tak kora hoyeche tader heart e dike we constitute the majority in pakistan because in the election of 1970 the majority was for the army league but whenever we bangalis have tried to assume power they have used force on us so we are the elected members we are the majority in the assembly but we cannot call the assembly we cannot sit in the assembly we cannot sit in the assembly to uh we cannot sit in the assembly to take the power whenever we are going near the power they are throwing us they are using force on us not to attain the power so amader ki bhul hoyechilo amader takay kena ostro diye amader upore nirjaton kora hocche abar amra majority peyechi pakistan e amader ke ei assembly te boshte deya hocche na tale amra bangalira joto bar khomotay boshte chechi joto bar khomotar kache kache giyechi itihash bolche seta সত্তরে না শুধু আর তার আগেও চুয়ান্ন সালেও আমরা কিন্তু সেই একই ধরনের নির্যাতনের শিকার হয়েছি আমরা সেই একই ধরনের ডেপ্রাইভড হয়েছি ডেপ্রাইভেশন আমরা পেয়েছি সো আপ টু দিস আপ টু দিস উই উইল স্টপ হিয়ার উই উইল স্টপ অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই হ্যাভ রেড থ্রি প্যারাস ফর ইউ ফ্রম বঙ্গবন্ধু স্পিচ অ্যান্ড আই উইল টেক probably two or three more classes to finish the lecture because this is a very important part of our text and from this text comprehension questions are set comprehension questions are set paragraphs paragraph is also set fill in the blanks with clues and without clues can also be set so all the items of english first paper even the grammatical items of english second paper all can also be 
uh, set from this text. Okay, from different angles, from different point of views, this uh, lesson is very important. That's why I am taking a few more classes for you. Now, if you look at the assignment, you can see it on the slide. Some of the assignments are there. Uh, actually, one assignment is there. Three questions are there. I hope you will be able to give the answer. And the, all these three questions are on the basis of the three paras I have read and tried to make you understand today. I mean, this para gulo so, what did Bangabandhu tell to the countrymen after the session of assembly was prorogued? So, when the session of the assembly was dissolved, what did Bangabandhu tell to the countrymen? You all know that. What did he tell? He told that we will observe the strike peacefully and also shut down all the mills and factories and people responded. Next question, how did people respond to Bangabandhu's call? How? How was the response? Because uh, Bangabandhu called to go for the strike peacefully, to shut down the mills and factories and people responded very quickly, uh, very spontaneously because they know that Bangabandhu is their leader and he will make the situation uh, easy for them and he, he will work actually, he will work for the countrymen. So why not they should respond to his call? So the main answer is that they responded very frankly, uh, very quickly, rapidly and most importantly they were very spontaneous. The spontaneity was there. The last and final question, why did Bangabandhu put emphasis on discussion time and again Bangabandhu Put emphasis all the time, you will see that in the speech, he all, all the time put emphasis on, I emphasized on the discussion because he believed that, all the time he believes that, rather we can call that discussion is the only thing through which we can settle, we can solve any dispute, we can... Uh, solve any uh, bad situation, miserable situation, uh, we can minimize our differences, we can uh, actually make breeze among our difference of uh, opinions, etc, etc. So, discussion was the main element uh, for Bongo Bondo. Through discussion, he want to uh, make any issue clear to the political leaders of B than Pakistan. So I hope you will be able to answer these questions and please send these, uh, send these answers in the comment box, in the com box and I will try to check. You can take the snap also, take a snap and put it there all, straight away you can type also. And final slide is there. Thanks for your patience and being with me. I think this class has become uh, helpful for you. This will assist you actually to know about the historic 7th March speech. All of you have heard the historic 7th March speech in Bangla. Here in English for, for today book, EFT book, uh, the speech has been translated in English uh, for you and Professor Fokrul Alam, Dr. Fokrul Alam has translated it uh, for you. What is the reason of the translation? Very simple answer. The answer is that uh, through the translation, English translation, this speech, this speech has become international. All the people, all the people of the globe all the people around the uh, world knew about the speech, about the depth of the speech, about the content, about the style of Bangabandhu, how he uh, made the plot of the speech, how he continued his speech, where he stopped, how he drew the attention of the people. These are the techniques, or rather we should call these the art of Bangabandhu. So Bangabandhu was actually an artist 
of speech, giving a speech. So thanks again for your patience. Hope to see you on next Wednesday as usual at the same time at 10.30 a.m. Till then, bye-bye and take care of you.